Hey everybody, this is Willie at NewInLostCrafts.com and today I'm going to show you how I uh, go about carving a pumpkin. So here we have a little little pumpkin and you can see I already kind of got started so sorry about that but I'll explain what I did. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, we have some patterns that we got. Um, you can find these all over the internet or you can buy little booklets but uh, this is what Lexi wanted, my daughter is a little pattern of a ghost with candles. Um, so that's what we're going to be putting in this guy. <coughs> um, first, I, not everybody knows this, and that's kind of the reason I was uh, making this video, is that, you know, me growing up, <coughs> you know, carving a pumpkin was basically my dad's pocket knife, some triangle eyes and a goofy looking mouth every time. Um, but you can do some really cool things with these little kits these days. Uh, a lot of them, these little kits come with a scooper and you know some various tools, which I'll show you how to use. Um, and but the key to them are these saws, these little pumpkin saws. And all it is is a saw blade. It's probably really hard to see. Now I want to point out you don't really need to buy one of these kits um, you can go to the hardware store and what I did for a slightly finer blade is I went to the hardware store and got uh, a coping saw blade so this is a real narrow one and then all this is is you know duct tape wrapped around to make a little handle and this is what I used to do my detail work in tight places so yeah, as opposed to the old knife method, this works really well. So, first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you how we got the hole in the pumpkin first here. And you can use, an, so here's how I got the initial hole in there to drill the lid. This little tool, um, basically you, you poke it in the pumpkin and start turning it, and it'll drill a little hole in there. Um, and obviously you can just use a normal drill too. Uh, so you don't again need these kits, but they're handy and it's a lot safer for kids. Um, it's pretty hard to have them hurt themselves, where a normal you know hand drill would uh, probably not be a great idea unless you were there to supervise it. So anyway, once we put that hole in there, and I'll show more of this later, I took my more coarse saw uh, from my original carving kit. You put that in there and just start carving and sawing all the way around. And that's how I got this lid hole. Okay, so once you got that off, of course it's going to have all the stringies, all the good stuff. And notice I have uh, newspaper laying on the ground. What we're going to do now is take this other tool that I have. And it's really good at scraping all this material off the top and you'll actually dig into the meat a little bit and get rid of all the stringies and the seeds so I'm going to do that to the lid um, just like you basically saw here <clears throat> a lot of people save the seeds um, and roast them and eat them I'm going to go ahead and save some um, in case we want to do that or in case I want to try to grow a pumpkin next year uh, so I'm going to get after cleaning this uh, lid off and then once the lid is cleaned off we're going to go after the inside, again using the same tool, and you're going to get dirty doing this, but get your hand in there, get rid of all the stringy stuff, and don't be afraid to dig um, to get it uh, all cleaned out. So I'm going to get this done, I'll come back, because um, I only have two hands, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, I'm back, and you can see, scrape the inside of the pumpkin. Uh, with the scraper tool, <coughs> really good. And as before, you can use a spoon um, or any other type of thing. Uh, don't get overly obsessive about it. Once this thing dries, or once these dry, <coughs> um, it shrivels up, and um, you know the little stringies and whatnot uh, really tend to go away. And then there's the lid. Um, have a bigger pumpkin to do later. I also wanted to point out in this little bit of filming, I took the pattern uh, that I showed you and just taped it to 
the side of the pumpkin where we wanted to show up. And now what we're going to do is take a pointed tool, which the drill that I showed you earlier has a little point on it, and we're going to poke holes all along the outline. And that will allow us to take the piece of paper off, uh, use a little bit of baby powder or even flour, and be able to see our outline where we need to carve. So I'm going to poke the holes now, and I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I thought I'd take a kind of an in-between look at poking the holes here to make your pattern. Um, so I can give you an idea of actually how to do it. So you just want to make sure you break the skin of the pumpkin and follow your pattern all the way around. Um, so when you take the piece of paper off, you have a good uh, guide to follow. Okay, so here we are, <clears throat> completed the whole pattern here. <clears throat> this one is pretty simple. Um, you have a few skinny parts over here, and if you're doing this for the first time, don't worry about it too much. Um, just do the best that you can to get the outline done. <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and take this off. And try not to rip it so you can reference back to it um, if you need to. Alright. So there's our pattern. Now, I'm going to show you a neat trick. Um, what I'm going to do is, and we're going to set the pattern aside, like I said, if you need it later. I'm going to go get a little bit of... Um, of talcum powder and just rub it across the surface and what will happen is the powder will go in our little holes that we poked here and will make it a lot easier for us to see the pattern when we go to carve it here in a minute. Alright so this is what it looks like. Notice I'm in the sink here. Use some, uh, some, some baby powder to rub across the surface and you can see how it makes those little holes that you just poked really stand out and a lot easier for the pattern to be carved. Okay, so now we're ready to carve. I wanted to show how to use this little drill tool to start a hole. Um, again, this is the same thing that we use for, for poking. Um, I'll post a, a link to where to get these tools um, if you like on uh, the blog post. But <clears throat> instead of just poking a hole, if you twist this, it works just like a drill. Just make sure you're drilling into a place that is supposed to come out. And just as simple as that. Okay? So, <clears throat> for the, the actual carving, you're going to use that guy. And then, you you know, whatever saws makes sense. So. This is the rougher saw, <coughs> and then this is the one I showed earlier that I, I just made out of a um, out of a saw blade I got from the hardware store, and then um, you know just duct tape wrapped around it. But um, yeah, so <coughs> what you're gonna do first, since this is now your starting point, is go ahead and start sawing over to where the lines need to start, and we're gonna take out all the material for the pattern. So I'll fill in a couple different stages in here, but uh, this is a time to maybe turn on uh, a little bit of music, maybe something good to listen to in the background, and get busy. Okay, just another quick note. So I, you can see I use my, my saws to cut out around the ghost's head here. And another pointer that I've learned over the years is that um, it, it's easier to, to push the pieces as they come out in and if you're working on delicate ones try to chop them up um, in smaller pieces so you don't end up breaking um, what you're working on but push them in just like that okay so just another quick check in here um, you can see the pattern starting to come along. Um, you can also see, you know, when you're doing this stuff, 
you know, some little stringies like along this guy's hand and whatnot. Um, <coughs> don't worry about that stuff too much. Like I said earlier, the pumpkin will dry out and those things will um, will shrink and the whole thing will look very, very cool uh, once it once it dries. Um, just remember you have limited time with these, so there is an optimum. Here in Colorado, uh, letting it dry overnight is about the optimum, so it will look awesome tomorrow. <coughs> Which is cool for me, because I'm bringing uh, these pumpkins to a haunted uh, display at work, so that's cool. But in a couple days, they'll start to shrivel up and not look so great. Um, you can put some Vaseline on the surfaces, make it last a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so I have this last piece here to go, and then the uh, the candelabra here, and I'll check back in after that. Okay, so before we turn the lights out, this is the finished product here. Um, it's looking pretty good, but a little electric light in there, electric tea light. This is another one that I did. Um, kind of freehand. He's going to be the puking pumpkin. So the uh, you know the guts that you scrape out of the pumpkin. Um, when I set it up tomorrow, it's going to just be coming out of his mouth like he's puking, and some strings out of his nose. So that'll be fun. And then here is Linus. Uh, so that's what I did last night. So um, we'll light him up here in a second, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, so this is going to be the last uh, clip for the night. Hopefully we can uh, get some decent footage of this. So here's Linus in the Great Pumpkin Patch. And there's this pumpkin down there. It's hard on video, but uh, looks really cool. Here's the, uh, the simplest of them. So this guy's going to be the puking pumpkin, like I mentioned. And then... Uh, the Boo Ghost with the candelabra. So, pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you have any questions or I can help at all, uh, drop me a line. To, it's uh, visit newandlostcrafts.com or just write me a note on the, uh, the video comments. Um, appreciate you watching. Catch you next time.